<laughs> All right, it is Tecmo Tuesday time, and it's time to continue on with our uh, beloved Colts season. This week we are battling the Patriots. Um, take a look at the standings real quick. And, so, you know, it, it, Patriots are 3-6. and six. I think that's a little bit better than they were at this point. Yeah, actually, they, it definitely is better than they were at this point last year. Excuse me, in the last season they lost, what, their first 10, 11 games before they finally broke through and beat us. So we can't take them lightly, <clears throat> especially since they look a little bit more formidable this year. Uh, hopefully Miami can beat Buffalo here in this first game and give us a shot, and they won't. So once again, it will be at least a game behind. Hopefully uh, not more than one. Or two. Well, it's... You know, it'd be a game and a half. Whatever. It's the the tie break differential is one of those things that kind of fluctuates. It doesn't matter if if we are to. Uh, I mean, obviously, if we were to win to this week, it wouldn't. Uh, you know, we wouldn't have matched records, so it wouldn't matter. But if we if they, say they had lost, and <clears throat> we and then we win both eight and two, then it depends on point differential. That's the tie break. It doesn't matter if they beat us. None of that matters. So. Here we go. Like I said, can't take these games lightly, even if the teams suck. Because any given Sunday, it, 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 it's, it, it works out that way in Tecmo, too, a lot of the time, as we saw last year with the whole... You know, debacle against the Patriots. We, they didn't just beat us, they beat the shit out of us. So... We can't let that go down. Just cannot let that happen. Ready, down. Uh, I want to be Ah, I got fucking popcorn. Look at this fucking guy. You know, this feels like. Ugh. This feels a lot like last year's team with the whole getting blown up at the line and, <clears throat> uh, and then just getting gashed for touchdowns right off the bat. And again, you know, this is why you don't take these games lightly. You, you can't do it. All right, now, did we... All right, we, I was going to make sure I didn't put in my backups again. Last thing I want to do is play a couple downs with the, uh, with the reserves. Oh, come on, dude. You were wide open down the sideline. Why the hell did that go out of bounds? I don't, you know, it's like, I don't know if that's George's fault for leading him out there or if <laughs> Dickhead just ran out of bounds. Oh, man. You know, it's like, it's going to be one of these games. They, they, they know, uh, and then again. Come on! It was in your hands. Ugh! This is, you know I can already see it. This is it's it's one of those fucking games. We're only one possession each into it, but it's already I'm already seeing the writing on the wall here with this. It's like the fix is in. The brakes are gonna go their way, and they're gonna know all the plays we're doing. Everybody's open. Cause I call the run. All right. Come on, let's get a stop here. Let's change this fucking momentum here. Ready, down. Hood, hood, hood. All right, that's the way to do it. <clears throat> so the defense made up for that uh, horrendous first possession. If you even want to call it a possession, it wasn't. It was just a. They just rammed it down our throats. Alright, let's try to get this... Right, re rewrite the ship. 
Actually, just write the ship in general. We haven't had it right all day, so I don't know if that's if you can rewrite the ship. All right, there we go. That's what I wanted. I, as soon as I saw that he was streaking a little bit, I was like, all right, I want to let him go for a bit and try to get this first down. Uh, try to let's try to hit Langhorn deep. Ah, uh, he's covered. They're all covered. All right, third and short. <clears throat> Come on, blockers, do you think? Do you think? Fuck. Ugh. Let's just get the points. Let's just, you know, it's like these things have gone bad enough. Yeah, missing a fourth. And on top of it, you don't know that if you're even gonna get a touchdown on the drive in, in those situations, especially when you're. It's you know the yardage is. It seems to be at a premium. You know, it's like we're. It's a struggle to get the ball moving here a little bit. Uh, who knows if you're even going to be able to get it into the end zone in the first place. So, especially early in the game, if this was, like, late third quarter, oh, boy. Then I might have gone for it. If it was fourth quarter, I definitely would have went for it. Down by seven, yeah. Oh, but he's going to Irving Fryer. Oh, the bastard got it. And everybody fucking misses. Ugh. Hugh Millen lighting us up. Man, I was right up in that guy's face. Oh, I managed to get him to swing it the other way. I didn't know if the pressure could actually do that. They got a piece of it. I don't know, but I don't. You know, it's like I, I don't know if that's something different with this ROM because I, I've never seen a, an extra point go wide. Oh man, just nothing doing. Everybody's covered. Ugh, just let him a little bit too far. Everybody's covered. Oh, I went out of bounds. I. Oh, God. Ugh. All right, we got to stop him. Just, you know, do anything but let them fucking score on this drive. At, you know, at least we'll get the ball and... Alright, let's get a sack here. Let's fumble, maybe. That would be even better. If we can get, like, a turnover on this drive. We need to get one of our classic Colt comebacks. Going here. Safety! Alright, he was he avoid, tried to avoid that. I wish there was more time on the clock. No, he called they called the time. What the hell? You know, again with the uh Tecmo AI. They call timeouts when you know, it doesn't matter the fact that they're punting it right now. They still call the timeout because it's the fourth quarter and they have the ball. Come on, come on. Alright, gotta just heave up a prayer here. Come on, Cash. Ugh, just a bit overthrown. It was actually more in the hands of the defender than anybody. I, I waited too long. I should have I should have just thrown that when I felt like he was around the 20, 15-yard line, something like that. 
Because when they're in the back of the end zone, it's like, not only does it give them the defenders time to get over there, but it's, uh, because the play's already fully developed. I was at midfield, so I didn't really need to let them run as deep as possible. And a lot of times that happens here. Throw, the guy throws it out of the back of the end zone. All right, we gotta get some urgency here. We gotta get we gotta get the ball moving. All right, there we go. Haven't gotten Langhorn involved yet, so I felt like that was a good time to do it. It was a good time to do it because he was actually open. I don't want to kill George here, but it was like everybody was covered. If I would have thrown it. It would have been an uh, interception, most likely. I feel like, man, everybody's just covered all day. Ah! Ready, down, hut. Ah, oh, just a little bit too far. Ready, down, hut, hut, hut. Oh, come on, I didn't dive. The goddamn computer made me dive. I did not, ha I had control of that guy and he just dove on his own. Gotta prefer, can't let them score a touchdown, or it's gonna be like that's gonna be the nail in the coffin. Whew, he was open too. I mean, I know he got over there, but that was. Uh... Ready, down. Hut, hut, hut. All right. Thankfully, Hugh Millen's inaccuracy paid off for us on that one. Ready, down. Hut, hut, hut. Oh, they're running it. We got him short. We got him short. All right. We needed to hold him to three. They had to keep it a two-score game. Maybe we fucked him up, too. No. So, all right. <clears throat> and maybe that extra point, you know, will mean something. If we can score two touchdowns and take a one-point lead, I can't be... Uh, we can't be really running it here. We uh, our running backs gain like two or three yards at, at per play. That's been the only play that Langhorn's been open on is those that 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 little button hook. They're whole keeping us to Dinkin and Duncan. Alright, that's a nice play right there. <clears throat> Which is, you know, ha keeping us thinking and Duncan make forces, uh... Man, even on that play where I thought if I, I had a chance to, to bring it in there. Uh, you know, it shaves time off the clock. Ugh. <laughs> I thought I'd somehow I thought I'd be able to run in with George right there. Out of the back. Ready, down, hut. Come on. Ugh. All right, this is it. Alright, that saves the day right there. That keeps us in this game. Now I gotta kick off. I gotta I gotta hope the defense pulls through. What do I got? 345? There's enough time. I gotta I gotta uh I gotta get the ball back. I gotta hold a three and out or something. Fumble. Ugh. 
Oh, look at that. He fucking switched gears. Fumbly, you fucker. That was Turner again. He's the one that freaking lit us up in the first play. And they go back to him. Why not, right? Oh, and I missed. And now everybody else is gonna fucking miss, too. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, you guys suck. Oh, this son of a bitch has like 8,000 yards on us today. Ugh, I should have kicked it onside. I mean, it's hindsight's 2020, but... You know, it's like we've been doing pretty good on defense the last few drives. I, fi I figure, uh, you know, they'll be able to handle this. Possibly. Nope. Went right back to what worked on that first drive and just gashed us. The only drive that worked was... Alright, well, you know, that was a good return. That helps. But we had to, you know, slowly matriculate the ball. Alright, there we go. That gives us at least a friggin' prayer. We hadn't got any of these deep balls all day. We hadn't got any big plays. Until just now. But again... You know, it's like the neither side of the ball has played great. Defense, uh... Alright, now I gotta kick it onside. Come on, come on. Come on! Oh, it was close. No cigar. Had to do it there, though. There's just not enough time to hold them. Unless they could get, like, a friggin', uh... Some form of... Turnover. Alright, a couple of... Quick... Tackles for loss. Alright, that... Punt it, punt it, punt it. Alright, so we're not gonna have the ball with much time, but we will have the ball. Just tackle me. Alright. Alright, here we go. We're gonna have a shot at a prayer here. We're gonna just launch it to Langhorn. Providing they don't fucking call the play. Holy shit! I don't believe that actually worked! They did a- they pulled a Greg Williams, they sent- Well, they didn't send an all-out blitz, but they didn't have anybody covering. I can't believe we pulled this shit off. I cannot believe that we pulled this shit off. 21.4th quarter. Unbelievable. Crazy. I, you know, it's, uh, we got 13 yards rushing. That was it. And most of the passing yards came in those last two touchdowns where we launched one to Langhorn and we launched one to, uh, to, to Cash. Uh, you know, um, I, 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 wow. Just, uh, Jeff George was our leading rusher of the day with six yards. That, if that, what that tells you how bad the running game was. But, in all fairness, we did abandon it early. We were getting, you know, we were running out of time and we needed to pick up the pace. Uh, wow. Uh, crazy, crazy stuff. That, those are the kind of things that make uh, a storybook season, you know, happen. So, hopefully, we can ride that one out. That was a bullet dodge, though. A bullet dodge. We would have been in deep shit as far as having any chance at the East. Because even beating Buffalo, we would have been down two games, you know? Like, that was... We'd be 7-3, and three and... You know, like I said, even beating Buffalo, that would put us a game down. And then you have to win again, hope that they lose. And they haven't been losing, so can't really count on that too much. Uh, so, that way, that's the standings right now. It's really, a, you know, if it's a battle between us and the Bills. Over in the Central, you got the Browns at 7-3. and three, And the Oilers, every team, not a single team in this division has a losing record. So, this is a good division. Uh, and it's straight down the line, eight, seven, six, five. All three, all three, all four teams are in the hunt technically. Although the Bengals are, you know, like they need things to happen. They need to get on a streak. Steelers are in control of it. Um, this division is the opposite. No team has a winning record. Um, but the Broncos are at least respectable at five and five. We'll see if you know. Even the Chargers are 
you know, only two games back. You know, if they can string something together. The 92 Chargers were the comeback kings as far as, you know, being uh, being down and out. This is a crazy division. It's a three-horse race between the Eagles, Redskins, and Cowboys all within, you know, a, a game of each other. And then, you know, it's it, that, that tie definitely uh, between the Eagles and, and Cowboys throws a monkey wrench in the whole calculation thing. The Vikings have firm control of this division at 7-3. and three. And then the 49ers are, uh, you know, they had a rough start to the season. They did have a tough schedule during that point. This is a, you know, still, a, it's the 49ers are still the 49ers. And they'll be, you know, they'll be around. So that was it for this one. A wild, wild finish. Um, yeah, that's that. That was that was nuts. Absolutely nuts. So we'll see you next week. Oh yeah, and before, so before I do go though, I I almost shut off the whole thing. Meant to bring up our opponent. We're playing Pittsburgh next week, who are in first place of the Central. And then, you know, with the Bills, they're playing Atlanta, who got off to a hot start, but they're, you know, yeah, starting to fade, so I'm not really counting on them to be able to beat them. But who knows? It's the NFL, and even in Tecmo, it's, it's, it's the NFL. So maybe we can, you know, pull off some, some shit. You know, we just saw how crazy things can get with this last game. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next time.